Welcome to SMS Timing TV for a demo of our latest timing software. Our timing software contains many features you can't find anywhere else to make your carding center more efficient and safe. It has everything on board for either the people that want to automate everything or for people that want to keep manual control. So follow me as I show you around in this program. You can run this program standalone without any other software packages or you can run it as part of our operations, marketing and management packages. In standalone mode, the structure of your day is made up out of pre-configured heat blocks. These heats all have a standard configuration depending on the day and the hour, but most clients have it set to one configuration only. If you want to change the settings of one heat in particular, it's easy to do so via the settings button. Here all the settings are easily accessible and easy to understand. It allows you to configure a single race as an endurance, a competition race, a fully automatic heat. The configuration possibilities are literally endless. With the booking module, if heats need to be changed, it will happen automatically through products or packages already configured if you use the point of sale software. The staff at the reception can sell a qualifier and a final to someone and the qualifier will be automatically five minutes and the final will be 20 laps, for example. In standalone mode, you have to book in drivers from the pit. These drivers can only have a name or a nickname to identify them afterwards on a printout. You just press the plus sign or press the insert key on the keyboard and you can start adding names. With the booking module, names, pictures of drivers, etc. all come from our kiosk software. Comments can be added by the staff at the reception to give you special instructions for participants. You can also see whether or not the participant has paid already. The only thing that's left to do then is to assign cards in case you do it manually and start the race. Assigning cards can happen in lots of different ways depending on what you like. The manual way is to press the cards button and to start dragging, double clicking, uh, selecting. In the middle there's two buttons here. One that overrides cards that have been assigned already and one that only fills in the drivers that don't have cards yet. With the shuffle button you can ensure a fair race. All the assigned cards will be randomized among the participants. Other more automatic ways of assigning are 1. Pressing enter in the main timing grid, 2. Scanning the cards with a barcode scanner and 3. Assigning them automatically via the loop by letting people drive out the pits in the correct sequence called loop passing. Our pit display program will show the participants in the next heat along with their name and cart number. In case of automatic loop assignment, this number becomes the sequence in which they have to take place in their carts. The first driver sits in the first cart, the second driver in the second and so on. Thanks to this, there's no confusion for your clients and no waste of time for the track marshals. The pit display also shows how long these people still need to wait for their next heat. After assigning carts, the heat can be started. In a normal configuration, you don't need to do anything anymore with the timing software until the next race. It will finish the heat automatically based on the finish conditions set in the configuration. When it finishes, it prints the printouts needed and for more advanced packages sends results emails and uploads the results to Facebook and mobile apps. If anything happens during the race, the software warns you with notifications, possible crashes, wrongly assigned cards, etc. It uses all of the information it can get from different sources like decoders, multiple loops and the database to give you important info when you need it. Now we also support as many split sectors and loops as you want. If you have the hardware for it, our software can handle it perfectly. You can have a pit entry and exit loop and the possibility to time the pit stops. With every loop you can also set an action and this is where it gets very cool. In combination with a slowdown system on the carts, you can for instance set speed actions on timing loops, like slowing drivers down on their last lap before the pit, or starting out with a slow speed and then when they pass a loop, they get a full speed. By putting these actions on normal timing loops instead of specific slowdown loops, you save money because you only need a range extender connected to the timing PC 
and not a sector sensor on every cart. We can even slow them down without a loop before the pit lane. We set a certain time after which they will be slowed down before pit entry. All very interesting possibilities to make your track safer and to make your carts last longer before you have to do repairs. And that's not all, if you've got electric carts you can have a system of speed unlocks. When people drove a fast lap or a fast sector, they can get a higher speed in reward. With electric carts this is no problem since limiting them to a certain speed doesn't damage the engine like on petrol carts. You can even choose if this higher speed is just for the current race or for forever for this person. Of course safety is still the most important part of a slowdown system so whenever you want to slow down all carts or just one cart in particular you can do this straight from the software. If you're running heats that need to get the results dynamically from other heats you can manage this in the Grand Prix tab. A brief example you're organizing an event with two qualifiers and two finals. You want the best drivers from the two qualifiers in final one and the others in final two. This is very easy to do with this module. You double click on the races you want to merge. This adds them to a central list. Then you can sort this list on various criteria like best time, most laps, average time, points, etc. You can also do manual reordering. If you go back in history, you can use those races from previous days as well. Then it's just a question of selecting a block of drivers and dragging them to the right final. That's it. If you want, you can transfer the cards to the new heats as well, along with the participants. This saves you from assigning them again later. This Grand Prix module is only for these more complex heats. If you sell a Grand Prix package at the reception with one qualifier and one final, it will automatically transfer the drivers with their positions and cards to the final after the qualifier. Yet another action that you don't have to do yourself, the system does it for you. Another new feature we have is that you can connect to the same card track with multiple timing software computers. And all of these computers can do actions like controlling the lights or slowdown system, assigning cards, planning your day and changing heat settings. With tablet computers running Windows 8 you can be mobile as a pit marshal while still following the state of the race and staying in complete control. Click on the clock and it gets maximized, allowing you to see from far when the race will be over. Even if you're standing really far and you can't read the letters anymore, the color of the clock will flicker when the end of the race is near. To finalize, there are a couple of other functionalities in this powerful program. First we have powerful support for teams in endurance races. Teams have multiple drivers that can be tracked using an automated workflow and multiple carts can belong to a certain team. When you're doing an endurance with electric carts, you don't have to continuously switch transponders or reassign carts. You can just assign two carts to a team from the start and when the battery is empty of one cart, they just take their second cart and let the first one recharge. Then for outdoor tracks and busy indoor ones, we have our pay and go system where people don't drive together in heats, but every person on the track has their own timer that runs out. So you can sell half an hour karting to someone and he doesn't have to wait, he can just start driving. When the half hour is over, you will see it in the software and call the cart off the track. The garage tab is our one-stop overview of your vehicles. This allows you to track fuel and battery levels, track parts like oil or tire usage and control the speed of your carts. In a race you can deal out penalties and bonuses in times or laps. This allows you to compensate for broken transponders or punish unsafe drivers. The timing software has the same login possibilities as the booking, with functionalities that can be limited per user group. Ok, that concludes the demo of the many functionalities of our timing software. And there's even some functionalities I didn't mention yet. Yet we've succeeded in keeping the interface of the program very simple and easy to use so that the program is suitable for tracks that only want to do the basics as well as more intensive users of the software. A lot can go automatic, 
but only if you wanted to, because a lot of these things are linked to settings to make sure the program works the way you want instead of you working the way the program wants. Together with you, we analyze your needs, your preferred way of working, and we make sure you get a timing system that works beautifully the way you want. That was it for now. Be sure to check our other videos on our YouTube channel and come and say hi on our Facebook page. Get in touch.